What was the significance of Chris Helmsworth being told that he had two copies of the APOE4 gene? This does not mean that he was actually diagnosed with Alzheimer's, but that he has an eight to 10 times chance over someone in the general population of developing Alzheimer's. APOE is a gene that has to do with cholesterol transport. And people that have two copies of a gene called APOE4 or the APOE4 variant of this gene have eight to nine times and even up to 10 times the risk of Alzheimer's disease as people in the general population who don't carry this gene. But here's the kicker. Up to 25% of us have one bad copy of this gene and even one bad copy of this gene can increase our risk of Alzheimer's two to three times over the general population. But what does it have to do with weight loss? Well, the fact is that people that have variants of APOE4 can actually coat their insulin receptor in fat because the APOE4 gene is not good at cleaning up uh, fat from the blood. And so your insulin receptor of your cells can get coated in fat. And that can actually make it really, really difficult to lose weight. That's why even though in most people's case, I don't encourage a diet that's low in saturated fat because saturated fats have some really good qualities like helping with hormone production. If you have APOE4, saturated fat is not a good idea for you. So that's why it's really important to know your genetics and know what's specifically going to be good for you. Five things to do if you have the APOE4 gene or the Alzheimer's gene. Number one is exercise. Studies show that exercise can actually really lower the risk of developing Alzheimer's in people with the APOE4 gene. I know the data on this is mixed and some studies actually say not, but the studies that are higher quality that actually measured how much people exercise and the studies that actually looked at exercise in a younger population showed that it actually did make a huge difference. Fitness also made a huge difference. And the other thing was that even the studies that showed no benefit acknowledged that probably their studies didn't show a benefit of exercise because they were looking at an older population that already had the plaques and tangles that you develop in your brain from Alzheimer's. And they believe that if you had started exercise earlier, like in the studies that showed benefit, it might have made a difference. Number two, don't smoke. Why? Because smoking increases cardiovascular risk, including the risk of stroke. And then the NUN study, which looked at nuns who gave their body to science, it was shown that nuns that had the plaques and tangles of Alzheimer's did not show many of the symptoms. These nuns were actually tested with cognitive testing unless they also had overlying strokes. So nuns that had had the plaques and tangles of Alzheimer's and strokes showed symptoms much earlier. Smoking and a bad lifestyle can really increase your risk of strokes. And so not smoking is one of the things you can do if you have the APOE4 gene. Don't eat a lot of calories. I'm not really much one for calorie restriction, but the one place I am for calorie restriction is for people that have the APOE4 gene. Watch my previous video to figure out why. Don't eat a lot of saturated fat. Now this is where knowing genetics is really, really important because depending on what kind of APOE protein you have, eating fats can affect you very differently. For instance, people with the APOE2 gene do super well with fats. So that's why I hate when people make generalized recommendations to people, low fat, high fat, low carb, high carb. All these things are very individual and dependent on your genetics. Socialize and keep your brain active. And a review about preventing dementia in 2017 in The Lancet, which reviewed a lot of the literature, in fact, nearly all the literature to that date, one of the things they talked about was socialization and being part of a community as one of the things that buffers your risk of dementia of any kind. So whether or not you have the APOE4 gene, make sure that you have an active social life, a community that supports you, and that you keep your brain active. This has been Dr. Emmy.